All right, so the third reaction of glycolysis is mediated by the enzyme phosphofructokinase, and as you can see by the name, it is a kinase that phosphorylates phosphofructose. Um, not very helpful, but fructose 6-phosphate, which is this guy here, which we just got out of our phosphoglucose isomerase reaction, is going to react with ATP to become phosphorylated to fructose 1,6-bisphosphate, so it's going to have two phosphates. And just a reminder on the numbering, one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's going to get a phosphate. It already has one at 6, but it's going to get one here at 1, 2. And so just like what we saw with hexokinase, we're going to have a very similar reaction mediated by an aspartic acid base to mediate an attack on ATP. So let's do that. Let's first pull this hydrogen off of our 1 position. It's going to go onto the aspartate, and then our bond electrons are going to be used to attack the gamma phosphorus. Remember, gamma, beta, and alpha phosphorus. We're going to attack the gamma, and we can't break five bonds on phosphorus, so we're going to go up to our oxygen here. So we're going to have a, a, a trigonal bipyramidal uh, intermediate here. All right. So now we have our intermediate, and you can see that there's five bonds to phosphorus right here. And we, again, want to form our double bond O as uh, quickly as we can. So we're going to drop that down, and we're going to cleave off our ADP. So that's kind of nice. Um, and that's going to release our first product, which is our fructose 6-phosphate. Now, if you notice, this has become much more symmetrical. Um, another thing is that our aspartic acid here needs to be recharged, and we'll do that in the next step. Last thing we need to do to recharge the enzyme is just to deprotonate the aspartic acid with our ADP and to release our products. So fructose 1,6-bisphosphate can go on to aldolase reaction, uh, which will split it in half. You can actually kind of see the plane of symmetry down the middle here. Um, that's going to break it into two 3-carbon pieces. This one here is going to become the dihydroxyacetone phosphate, and this part is going to become our glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate in the next reaction. And that's going to help us to start paying off some of the investment we made here. Now we've already spent one ADP here, we spent one in hexokinase, and so in net we're down to ATP for glucose. Which isn't great, but it's not terrible either. We can make that back in one step in the next reaction. And just to find so final showing of the products here, we have our fructose 1,6-bisphosphate, our aspartate is recharged and ready to go, and we have our ADP ready to finish the reaction. So those will all be released and replaced by uh, their uh, new substrates. And this is a considered irreversible reaction. Fructose 1,6-bisphosphate is considered dedicated to glycolysis. Once it's formed into that, you can't go back. And it's going to go all the way through into pyruvate.